We are joined by Dr. Kenneth Kendler, who is a professor of psychology at Virginia Commonwealth University. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. All right, so can you tell us about your study on how marriage affects alcohol abuse? Sure. It's been long observed by clinicians that they know that a stable, loving marriage is a strong protective factor against developing alcohol problems or people who have alcohol problems. Often the spouse is your greatest ally into having somebody reduce their, their risks for alcohol. So this was a study where we tried to take that kind of clinical observation and see whether we could really show it in rigorous large sample epidemiologic studies. Our laboratory was the entire country of Sweden, working with key colleagues, Jan and Christina Sundqvist, who work at Malmo. We were able to identify a sample size of over a million and a half young individuals who had not been married and not previously had alcohol problems. And our job was essentially, since we knew exactly what year they were married, and we had very good evidence about when they developed their alcohol problems from the very thorough records that the Swedes keep, what we showed is that people who were married reduced their risk of subsequent alcohol problems about threefold. So it was a really large effect. The next part, and probably the most interesting of the study, is in that kind of design, you can't really be sure what's cause and effect. So is it the marriage itself that reduces the risk, or is it the kind of person who might want to get married, maybe more easygoing, may have better interpersonal skills, is more likely to get married? So we used a method that's called a co-relative control. And the rough idea would be, we want to take individuals, let's think especially about identical twins, since they're the most powerful. So you have a large number of identical twins, one of whom it gets married and the other doesn't get married. We show that among those pairs, it was the one who was married who also had the much lower risk for alcoholism. And since identical twins share all their genes, share all their family background, it makes it much more likely that the effect is really a causal one. The, that was the main point of the study. That's fascinating. So speak to how these results relate to the world of psychiatry. Sure. So what, what this means is that psychiatrists have a much firmer basis when trying to counsel people with potential alcohol problems, showing that the social world is really very important. We live at a time in psychiatry, really partly because of major advances in neuroscience, that we're awfully focused on the brain and neurochemical pathways. This is a study that reminds us that some much broader, some very important aspects of our life uh, and the social behaviors they do are really important in the areas of these kinds of conditions. So along that line, what would you like the audience to walk away with? I think they walk away with the idea that social factors, especially a marital role, is a very important re pre preventive factor for alcohol problems. And we've shown in follow-up studies that for married people who get divorced, they substantially increase their risk. So it really works both ways. So clinicians have to be attuned to the social environment, especially the marital environment, of their patients with drug, drug abuse problems. Fascinating study. Thank you so much, Dr. Kenneth Kendler. Thank you for joining us. Very good.